so excited to see everybody here. The kids, they're driving me crazy. They can't wait to come out. They have been working so hard. People ask, well, why do you do this? These kids have stepped it up. They become independent, persistence, collaboration. These are all skills that they need now and they'll need in the future. Thank you for all of your support and all the parents. I mean, the community here is great. And the, the week that we've been here, we've seen teachers, parents coming together to support the kids in their creations. Meg Fashion EDU gave me an opportunity to, to focus because we knew this was going to be for a runway, that it was going to be something that you wore. That helped just uh, focus and when I say Maker Fair, well what is that? When I say, oh it's a fashion show with tech, people get excited about it and they understand what it is. So, you know, a lot of the stuff that we have done, it, it's really a uh, culture. culture. Uh, yeah. culture perspective shift mm -hmm. in the community. Um, it helps when you have a boss or administrator that says, we're gonna do this. So in a nice way, of course, but, but have that backing into it. Right. it. We get into education because we want kids to be successful. Mm -hmm. And this is a, a way to help them be successful and enjoy it. So I am here with the two gentlemen that helped me get this going. Um, we have Cameron Caravati, he's the principal of Hollinger K-8, and the former principal, current assistant superintendent of Hollinger, and now of Tucson Unified District School District. This is Brian Lambert. I think sometimes when you want to do something great in education, and you see people that are very talented and are very creative, one of the best things that you can do is just get out of their way. Events like tonight, where we had kids just creating this, this amazing fashion, and for a moment they got to just come out of their shell, they got to be these just incredible 21st century system thinkers. Um, it was really the opportunity for students to uh, think outside the box, but also be problem solvers, use their imagination. Look at what we did tonight. I don't think any educator, any leader would deny this this is incredible. Students in second grade, all the way up to middle school, and this was their creative idea. Um, to look at the video and see parents involved, community members coming and getting involved, that's exactly what we want in school. So Carrie and I have come from Shenzhen, China to Tucson, Arizona, and Mike has come from San Jose, California as Steam Head members to help Twyla's Make Fashion EDU show. So Steam Head is an organization and a maker space uh, built by and managed by teachers. So Twyla uh, joined our crew when she was teaching in Shenzhen, China, and uh, since then she's moved back to Tucson, Arizona, where she has implemented a great maker program in Hollinger's K through eight school. So we have come over here to join her in USA's first Make Fashion Steam Runway Show, which she has been working with the students of this school for several months. They've built up stories and meaning behind a lot of their electronic apparel. And in four days, uh, the runway show will happen at a local museum. So we are here to help produce, help repair any last minute damages to the electronics, and just to work with the kids. Check out the links at the end of the video. We would be thrilled to share advice with you on how to get your own program started. This is the oh, this is the circuit, circuit playground, playground right? Express, which Express. I really like. And so you helped her put the program on there. Well, it make code. And make code. Okay. Yeah, oh, so great. 
Oh, Once easy. again, we download, we find something that's like it, and yeah. then we great. Right like the kid doesn't have to be an engineer or a programmer no, no. to create. It's right. good. And are you an it's expert good. in in make code and LED yeah, no. lights? I'm, uh, yeah. I'm an expert in hot gluing fairy lights. Right. <laughs> I think I think that's a lesson that like teachers that do this kind of, that want to do this kind of stuff with their right. kids need to become more comfortable with is right. that they don't need to be experts in these things. How do you guys make the mess? <laughs> we have to uh, print the paper to make this and glue it on the um, cardboard and then cut it out so it wouldn't be much easier to fold. They have ABCs on them, so like A is right there. We have to uh, find B and connect them together like this. Wow, where'd you get, you download that from? Thingiverse? It's called Winter Craft, Winter and craft. they have a lot of different paper craft things. The hardest part was to make my wings, because there was a lot of mess in the world. Yeah. And what grade is they in? She is fifth grade. Fifth grade. Dragons Fishing. can be dangerous, but protective wow. at the same time. And that's that. how she feels? Yeah, that reflects her personality. Wow, that's mm -hmm. great. That's like some real kind of self-identification and expression. Dangerous and protective. The Crafty Kids Guide to DIY Electronics by Helen Steer was an inspiration for one of the students to use a micro bit on a glove in order to control the lighting in his outfit. Wow. It tilts and with the accelerometer. It controls the LEDs, up, right. Yeah, so it changes the color. Make It Wear It by Sare Cohen and Hal Rodriguez. A lot of students use these books to get inspiration for their projects. The difficult part of this was the wow. sewing. Wow, 3D of it. printed components yeah. all here. You guys made these? Yeah. Nice, it looks good. Oh, this one. I did see a picture this of this one. This is my helmet. And so, what character is this? Midnight, the Twilight Princess. Ever since I was three, I just loved her. So. Yeah. This is her helmet, and one yeah. of her eyes is here, and then the other one is covered. Oh, okay. Kind of like this. Wow. How did you get so much detail in here? Is this hot glue? Um, yeah. It feels like I'm a different person. An entirely different person. What, what is a maker to you? A maker is somebody who puts their hands, heads, and hearts into creating something that, that wasn't there before or changing or modifying something to suit their purposes. The maker movement allowed um, things to get less expensive, they're more accessible, you don't have to be an engineer. So the project base and maker just came together. And I hate to separate, you know, if it has to have high tech to be a maker away from these uh, craftsman kinds of things. So when you see something that you thought of or borrowed and made and your hands did it, it just as a, as a human being, it's a way of expressing and then working. I am in teaching, I see it in our kids and, and myself, you know, I've put in the thought and the hard work for this, you know, maybe even just a janky pencil holder out of cardboard on my desk. You know, there's, there's a lot of like thought and, and cuts and burns and heart and soul that went into it and I knew the process. What's going on here? Uh, so we did Greek mythology mm. and I tried, and I was and the person like named Aphrodite. Yeah. She's the goddess of love no, and yeah. beauty. Her symbol was a heart. We decided to make a heart necklace <laughs> with a light inside. I wanted someone that usually would be like, Pretty? Okay. How's your project coming along? Good. So you're attaching your LEDs to the shirt now? Yep, and then after, I'm just pinning them for now because then I'm going to have to hot glue them. Kids have found that they can express themselves with more than just words and paper and pencil. 
kids that normally wouldn't touch tech are now using tech as tools and kids that normally don't see themselves as creatives are now seeing themselves more creative. I have a lot of parents interacting with their child on a meaningful project. A lot of like mm -hmm. teenage angst that are now like, you know, okay with mom, you know, helping out with stuff. And I think that Make Fashion brought together the, the craft, the sewing, the traditional with some of the technology. And right. along with the traditional, my kids, I you know, oh, my Nana sews, or she showed me how to do this, or I'm, she's teaching me, or now I can touch her sewing machine. You know, I had, I was worried about boys coming in and not wanting to, but they went right to the sewing machines and wanted to use it. And that was because it was make fashion and they were trying to do something. It removes barriers. It's no longer a boy or girl thing or, you know, it's just, all right, we have a story. We want to create this and this is cool. There's a lot of change agents out there and I feel like there's a lot of educators wanting to do the right thing, but they feel kind of like just, uh, don't have backing tools, support, what have you. What are some advice what, what are, that you would give them? Just start, just, just jump in it. and yeah. try, you know, on a small scale, uh, do, do one project, do even start with a makeup project, something that you already know how to do, then, hey, let's, let's do this together, you know, until you get to the point of, I have no idea how to do that, let's find someone or let's find out but but just start you're not gonna ruin the child the, the advice in addition to that to just starting is is also be the first one to say hi um, reach out um, you never know um, you know we're, we're constantly reaching out in like the couple of days I've been here like you know Twyla is talking to everybody <laughs> asking for like coffee maker to you know everything uh, you know the communities are so generous I like for me, yeah. uh, donated fabric, donated time, donated money. I think you just, people want to do good. You just got to give them, give that, them that venue. Yeah, and donors too. choose. Um, I, I haven't tried any others. I applied for grants. Um, we have in Arizona, we have tax credit for donating to a school. And so I use that. But then a lot of it is I, I had three, two sewing machines just donated. Somebody was cleaning out their house. Um, you know, I have worked with a lot of um, educators that are change agents and um, they always ask the same thing. Like, it's just so suffocating. What can I do? But I care. Start with the small and then gather the metrics and then, um, you know, you persuade the powers that be with your metrics. And, and in the meantime, you also create a groundswell, you know, like a lot cat the fires catching underneath. Um, and when you have more you know, find out who those voices really are. And, uh, you know, for, for me, it's really the parents. Um, you can yeah, the yeah. parents. They are the advocates. Get your fashion tech program started in your school district. Go to makefashion.org slash edu. We have tons of resources to share with you. And if you want to make it a Make Fashion EDU event, we have options to come out to your school and your school district to speak with you online. Let us know. Let's talk.